Who wants a Skittle? Oh, yeah, yeah. Two of All right, see if you can catch this in your mouth. Yeah! Well done! <laughs> The video never gets old. You are looking at images from inside Blue Origin's new Shepard capsule yesterday, following the successful launch into the edge of space. Jeff Bezos' mission, just one of many firsts that what you have seen in space exploration over the last several weeks. Virgin Orbit, which is a satellite launching arm of Virgin Galactic, it just sent its second mission of the year into orbit last week month. For more on that, let's bring in Dan Hart. He is the CEO of Virgin Orbit, joining us from Long Beach, California today. Uh, Dan, it's great to talk to you. And, and before we start the conversation, I always feel like it's worth reminding viewers about where exactly Virgin Orbit or what exactly Virgin Orbit does, because you are under the Virgin Galactic umbrella, but you're on the satellite launching arm, not the space tourism side of things. Um, having said that, I am curious to just get your thoughts on what we have seen transpire over the last two weeks. Your boss, Sir Richard Branson, going out into the edge of space, followed by Jeff Bezos. Um, what is all this, how are you viewing all of these, all of these firsts that have happened and ultimately what it means for what you are trying to accomplish in space? So, you know, first of all, a clarification, we are actually a separate company from Virgin Galactic under Virgin Group. But as far as the overall activity in space, I mean, if you look broadly, there's an enormous amount of innovation and, and movement forward in space. As far as uh, space tourism goes, you know, we're a close knit community in the space community and it's great to see colleagues successful. It's great to see leaders taking leadership roles and going first. Um, and it's great to see the joy uh, of the experience of just beaming out. I was with Richard in New Mexico when he flew um, and it was, it was just palpable, the concentration of joy and excitement there. I think you could see it from space. Yeah, and kind of interesting to see uh, the way that these companies, different companies are tackling uh, the space race, if you want to call it that, in different ways. And your guys' is kind of custom launch uh, technology and the, and the modified plane to get the rocket up there. I mean, when we talk about what that does for Virgin Orbit and the way you guys work to kind of uh, put satellites into space, talk to me about what that model uh, does to separate itself from the other competitors out there now on the satellite side. You bet. So, you know, w our focus is putting a new generation of satellites in orbit. Um, and satellites are really the workhorses for space. They're the, they're the, the items that connect us, tell us about our planet, uh, bring information, uh, connect machines. Our system is an air launch system, as you mentioned. So our rocket, which is right behind me, doesn't have to do any work until it's already at 35,000 feet and going the better part of Mach 1. So that makes for a more flexible system it makes for a more efficient system. Um, so more efficiency, lower cost, higher flexibility. We get our green light to launch from the airport tower and can turn any airport around the world into a spaceport instead of being connected to Cape Canaveral or Vandenberg Air Force Base or somewhere like that. And then we're looking at images of uh, Launcher One rocket, which of course is, is designed to carry these small satellites into space. It, it's been fascinating to see how quickly the technology has evolved on that front. And, and as you look ahead, not just to the second half of the year, but next year, how quickly are you looking to ramp up activity on that front? And ultimately for those who are watching this, uh, what does that all mean for the viewers? Well, you know, the team, I, I could not be prouder that uh, of this team. In 13 months, we performed our first three launches. We had two brilliant commercial successes, putting satellites up for NASA, for international uh, governments, for the commercial sector, and for the DOD, covering all sectors. Um, so it's been an incredible year already for us. We have another launch that's coming up this year. We'll then be doubling our launch rate next year to six launches, or maybe a little bit more. And then we will more than double that going forward. So you can see there is a stack of rockets behind me in the factory and the factory is just burgeoning and moving forward. And we've had several reports here about the company uh, looking to go public through a SPAC that would value Virgin Orbit at $3 billion. Uh, what does the timeline look like on that front? Well, you know, that's an area I just can't really comment uh, to at this point. Um, but our focus right now is just moving the business forward. Okay, we'll have to leave it there. Hopefully, 
have you back on when the official announcement is made. Dan Hart, Virgin Orbit CEO. It's great to talk to you today. Appreciate the time.